Thank you, Mr. Williams, as usual, and a bright good afternoon to everyone. This afternoon, it's my task again to present to you the Health Emergency Operating Center's report uh, for today. The World Health Organization uh, re reports that there are 4,864,000 881 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally and approximately 321,818 confirmed dead. In St. Kitts and Nevis to date, we have tested, we have sampled and tested 391 persons. 376 of the samples returned negative and 15 positive. And so uh, St. Kitts has reported 15 confirmed cases. Of these 15 cases, all have recovered. Today, we have four persons in quarantine in a government-designated facility. And to date, 815 persons have been released from quarantine. As I said before, all 15 cases have recovered, and the average duration from diagnosis to recovery stands at approximately 30 days. Okay, so this afternoon's COVID-19 bulletin will look at cleaning and disinfection or sanitization in the context of COVID-19. And so the COVID-19 task force would have met with uh, the church community, we would have met with the business community, we'll, we would have met with uh, business and uh, public and private sector offices, and we would have discussed sanitization the need for them to have developed a sanitization program. So disinfection practices are important to reduce the risk of spread of COVID-19. And so individuals would have to concentrate on developing a, an appropriate sanitization program for homes, for offices, for gyms, for churches, public transport, and even restaurants. And so the persons would have to focus on high touch surfaces in these settings. And these surfaces include door handles, windows, kitchen and food prep areas, countertops, bathroom surfaces, toilets and taps, even touch screen personal devices, your tablets and uh, laptop, and different work surfaces. These surfaces must all remain clean. Now, what are the effective cleaning solutions that you can consider? The good old soap and water, and they are appropriate detergent that can be used in the context of COVID-19. And then the science tells us that the alcohol-based solutions are very effective in uh, decontaminating these surfaces. And then there is bleach. The concentration or the recommended concentration of bleach is 0.1%, which is equivalent to one part of a 5% strength household bleach to 49 parts of water. All disinfectant, surfaces, solu all disinfectant solutions should be freshly prepared each day and stored in an opaque container in a well-ventilated area. Clean all surfaces with soap and water or detergent first. And this is recommended because it's important for you to remove the organic matter and dirt first. Then you disinfect with the appropriate cleaning solution. Cleaning should always start from the least soiled or the cleanest or the apparently cleanest area to the most soil or the dirtiest area. This is done to prevent the spread from the dirty areas that are to the less dirty areas. 
Disinfecting indoor surfaces via spraying is not recommended in the context of COVID-19. Disinfectants should be applied using a cloth or a wipe that is soaked with the appropriate solution. In conclusion, when cleaning in non-healthcare settings, the minimum recommended uh, personal protective gear involves the use of disposable or rubber gloves, uh, impermeable aprons, and closed shoes. Eye protection and medical masks may also be needed to protect against chemicals in use or if there is a risk of splashing. In all settings, frequent hand washing and avoiding touching the face should be the primary prevention approaches to reduce any potential transmission associated with surface contamination. I thank you.